Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we honor you. And we thank you for this very precious moment. We thank you for what brought us to this moment. That somehow you quickened in all of our spirits that somebody has to cry for the little boy and the little girl. Somebody has to step forward and be a voice to those who have no voice. Someone has to step up and join hands with others to bring healing and mind and body and spirit and to usher in hope, to usher in a future, to say that you have not been forgotten and we leave no one behind. We come tonight to recognize one and, and as we join together who continues to be a beacon of light, to be a voice, to be able to roll up our sleeves, to be able to do the things that are necessary, that others would not suffer in silence, that they will be heard and they will be treated as your citizens of your kingdom. Tonight as we gather, we invoke your spirit your manifested presence in this place as we pause for a moment and say thank you and to say thank you to you for empowering us as we sit with our brothers and sisters and break bread we ask your blessings upon it but as we pause this moment it does not say that we stop but we motivate one another to continue the fight continue the struggle and to represent and do all we can to make sure Everyone is touched by your graciousness. Everyone is touched by your healing. Everyone is giving an opportunity to life and life abundantly. And we thank you for that. In Christ's name, amen.